Well, good morning. I just woke up like not too long ago. The eye bags in my eyes are disgusting. Jesus Christ, are you? Wait, yes. Are you? Um. Hi. My head is not really in the right space of thinking. Good morning. Hi. Welcome to a nice day in my life. It's currently like probably 7 a.m. But like, I don't know, 7 something. I don't jog anymore, mostly because I'm tired. Like, I got tired of jogging. You know, I really love jogging. Crazy. I don't really know what I'm going to do today. I just need how to vlog it. Because why not? Who's going to stop me? Okay, so it's been like an hour now. So I'm going to like have my bath, then eat breakfast. I don't know what I want for breakfast, to be very honest. When I reach that bridge, I'll cross it. Hi. So after basically two hours of me doing nothing, after having my bath, I'm just looking at my screen on TikTok, finally ready to grind it. Well, I'm wearing a very busy singlet and shorts because why not? We love a nice skin. And I'm owing you guys skincare routine. I'm coming. And I love how my hair is giving uh, like this protein treatment that I took to my mother yesterday in the afternoon. <laughs> That's why my hair basically looks like this. I washed it yesterday because I put too much there's been too much gel in my hair for the past two weeks. For like a week. Yeah. So I decided to wash it out because I don't like gel in my hair. And I put a lot of oil just so that it can can feel a little bit. I don't know. Time to buy it. Hi pretty people. Hi vlog. So I only have one slice of bread remaining. Um, I want to start with Sandman because finally I renewed my Netflix subscription because that time I didn't have money but now I have some money and I'll use it to buy the Netflix yeah I'll show you guys when I'm done or like I'm taking a break or something we begin two hours later Hi! So I slept because there was a life after I like watched two episodes of the sound man so I slept off. Yeah, that's all I have to say. I'm hungry. I don't know if I want to like eat actual food food or like buy snacks. I'd rather buy snacks and eat both of them. That makes sense. <laughs> I'm going to go and buy snacks and come back because why not? And I'm wearing my shorts top of and that shows if that makes sense. And now this trying to remove the one at inside. So you know it's kind of hard to vlog going there because I want people to know where I live that makes sense yeah I know I came here for home chips but like deep down I want cookies but I didn't bring enough money for that hi guys so I'm back from buying snacks I'm collecting food we have a side of coconut rice and white rice with meat. So how is everyone doing? So I didn't just comment like just eat. I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> I have things on my mind. You know, I want to spill out. Like basically like a life update. Before my phone spilled, I had like a total full life update that I had for you guys. And I just lost interest to edit it once my phone was fixed. So. You would think that, oh, okay. I've been on YouTube for at least Almost a year, not almost a year. I won't be still camera shy. I'm still camera shy to this very day. Like, I don't know why I cannot look into the camera and talk when no one is, literally, no one is in this room, just me. But, anyways, 
so it's cool i don't want to give you know too much information if you get as you all know it i'm starting school in september in coventry university not in coventry or in london the one in the other campus scarborough i'll be an acting major I finally want to leave my darling era and be in my filming era <laughs> I have no idea what that means but i don't know if anyone has had this particular experience where you're like by healing but you didn't know okay i'll start by i won't give too much information remember three months ago i was in a relationship okay it wasn't really a relationship it was not really a relationship it was just like you something it was something i wasn't happy i thought i was happy and i really wanted to leave at the same time i didn't want to if that makes sense but i left eventually my world was crashing not like because i had left that person but mostly because i had not let myself mentally grow before me and that person ever happened it was basically it was not up to a month after i graduated i had not yet mentally prepared myself to do any form of love with anyone i thought i was in love let me take this step further so if you knew me from like the very beginning i started this whole social media thing 2020 everyone knew me as chisom i was chisom.ce to this day the way i resent that name i don't know i don't even know why i called okay i knew who i called and i called myself chisom because i don't know when i was younger i felt like the fact that my name was chimsom i was like ah, why am i the only one that is named chimsom when everyone else is named chisom because i had never met a chimsom in my life I said to call myself Chisum to sound like everybody else. But like ever since I left secondary school, I'm finally understanding myself. And if you realize, I keep on changing my bio in each social media, changing my name because I'm still having an annoying identity crisis. I'm still trying to figure out who I am, but that's okay. And that's fine. I have changed my username, I think thrice. Anyways, Chisum, I must put this out here. Chisom is somebody that was a young child. I finally want to embrace my name Chimsom because oh boy, obviously it's my name. I cannot keep on hiding from my name, if that makes sense. I'm trying to be a new person, like for me. I'm still finding myself, still trying to navigate this crazy world. Because once I start school, I'm going to be alone. And that's crazy. I, I just remember this thing, I made this TikTok, put the thing here and it was about Chisum and Chimsum and yeah, put in the caption that I want to be referred as Chimsum. The one girly was like, I prefer Chisum, please. When everybody else in the comment section was like, oh, Chimsum looks so happy. Looking back at it, I wasn't really a happy person. I kept on struggling to be what I saw people doing. finally like mentally grown and I can't even explain how fulfilled I feel in my heart I haven't made a new TikTok I couldn't start my old account I didn't delete it it's still there because I like to go there for memories but I can't keep on creating content on that particular page because I feel like I have moved on from that particular phase in my life I'm also on Instagram I've been off Instagram for the past two months shocking <laughs> I left because again the same issue relationship me not understanding myself anymore me confused on what i was doing on the app yeah i really want to post fashion content because i i'm into like fits and stuff and i found my style i mean i think i found my stuff or i'm still navigating my style to be very honest because i cannot be so sure but like i think i found something that is that works for me but i'm just not ready to post on instagram yet like i'm really not ready I think influencing or doing any form of content in Nigeria doesn't think it's for me. So I don't think the opportunity of what I can do for brands elsewhere instead of wasting it here. And aside brands and whatever, I just don't want to post on Instagram right now. The fact that I'll be 18, I'll be in a different city alone without friends scares me. September 8th. And if there's anything I'm being serious about, I really, 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 really want to reinvent myself. I want to try new things, I want to eat new food, make new food, 
try different recipes i don't like there's a lot of things i really want to do like i've never felt so open-minded in a very long time i want to meet new people i want to learn new things there's just this stream of positivity and i really i would do anything to stay this way of course i have some days where i'm like hello i want to die or something some very annoying episodes that i could have but i think that's quite normal that's really normal for me and i can't oh god there's this, there's this child that's making loud noises behind i hear it anyways i can't wait to start school i know that sounds really weird like that sounds super weird like really weird the reason why i really want to start school is because i mean to do something that i have wanted to do in the past three years <laughs> Can't wait to meet new people. There are a lot of things I really want to do, especially on this channel. Go to learn more makeup, and then I mean learn more makeup. I mean, not do what I've been doing since. That one was just a joke. <laughs> I mean, I really want to like invest my time into skincare, makeup products, fashion. Yeah, that's basically it. I really want to take you guys along. And for those of you that have been with me since chisum.ce, thanks. I can't wait to get a camera. I can't wait to like work with amazing brands. In the past two months, when I say I didn't know I was in a healing journey, those things that God puts you on, and He's not really ready to tell you what it is, but just like it's just this week I realized I was actually healing myself from a lot of things. Like my mindset three months ago and now they're totally different. And some because I even read a book or did some kind of I don't know, I just, I just started realizing some things and I became cautious of what I was doing around people. Like there are so, so many people that I have let go of and they don't even know to this day. And my concept of a friend has changed. For me now, a friend is someone that if I feel sad or I really like want to talk to somebody about a particular thing that's bothering me or I could legit text that person, hey, then this person won't feel somehow or I won't feel somehow because of it. I think that person is a friend to me. But I have never felt so at peace. Let go of the people that you don't think work for you anymore. Especially those who are graduating this particular period. In that statement that they told, that they kept telling to tell that your parents keep telling you that, oh, all the people that are in your class, they're not really, you will not talk to them again. To be very honest, all the people that I used to talk to in my former school, I don't even like more than half of them. At the time, we were just friends because we were stuck in the same set and we were suffering. But now we have got out and you have a different life and I have a different life. And it's not like as if we were really, really good friends of, as of that time. So I don't, I don't know. I think that's all that's on my mind. But just have it in mind that Chisum is the old me. You know why I keep on saying that, but Chisum is the old me. And Chimsum is the new and improved, ever-growing person. Like I said in my previous video, I'm taking you guys on a ride for the next four weeks. Stay tuned. And also turn on your post notifications for this channel, please. Because it's like nobody like gets my videos when I post immediately. <laughs> okay, I think that's all for my life updates. I'm probably going to finish this food because I cannot talk and eat at the same time. So. Hi guys, so it's been like I think an hour since I picked up the camera, pick up the phone to record. I want to finish this book. <laughs> the way I've been postponing reading this book is so crazy, but now I'm supposed to have finished it. But like now I'm in chapter 13. So like if I read like two or three a day, maybe, maybe I might just reach almost the end. Because I want to finish this book before I leave this country. It's actually a very, it's actually a very good book to be very honest. And I also have snacks, and I want to sit in front of the sun, aromatize my life while I'm reading a book in front of the little form of sun in front of me.